Hey, House Kids family, it's so good to see you this week. We hope you enjoyed last week's lesson, but we have another awesome and fun lesson prepared for you this week. We had some announcements. Leslie? Wait, wait. There she is. Sorry, guys, I had to go grab my chair. But yes, our first announcement is our weekly Zoom calls. So our first weekly Zoom call is going to be at 7.30 this Thursday for our 6 and up. Our second call is going to be on 9 a.m. Friday morning for our preschoolers. And also, keep in mind that we do have videos from our leaders being posted on our House Kids Instagram. Yeah, so last but certainly not least, if you're making videos or making cards for our healthcare heroes, make sure to tag the videos to HK Loves Health Heroes. Or if you're making cards, we have posted an envelope outside of our House Kids building, and you can leave it there at your earliest convenience. Are you guys ready to watch the lesson today? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Convincing. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are, are you guys ready? All right, let's count it down in 10, 10 9, 8, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hello, production assistants, and welcome back to our good news set. Today, I have some very important news for you guys. Wait, are you supposed to wait until we're on the air to start reporting the news? Well, yeah, but this is not news for us or our viewers, it's actually for our friends at home. Guys, today is our last day on the set. Wait, what do you mean our last day? I thought we were doing good. Oh, they are doing good, but in this business, things change a lot. And you just gotta keep rolling with it and keep going. But since it's our last day today, I want it to be your best one yet. So that means I need you guys to be ready. So does that mean we're going to our final prep for broadcast game? Yes, it is. All right, let's go. Hey, house kids. Today we're gonna play a game called What's on the Table. We blindfolded three of your teachers. There's gonna be four rounds and they have to guess what's on the table. It's gonna get a little crazy. Are y'all ready? Let's get into it. All right, Why am I the plate is there. Okay. Ooh, good Ooh. plate. <laughs> Sorry. There. Ooh, good plate. Flakes. Oh, whoa, you put my hand in there. <laughs> Oh, okay. Crackers. <laughs> what do you feel like, like this? Feels like I want to say like, um, no, um, those fruit, the fruity pebbles or like the cocoa pebbles. I would like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can we what taste if it's... it? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a weird thing to ask? It's, it smells like it's edible. No okay. You smelt it? There's like a. I might have like strong, you know. <laughs> okay. It smells cheesy. Is it? I think it's gold. Crackery. Oh, like Crackers. smash goldfish. I think that's smash that's a goldfish. Good, yeah, I say good, smash goldfish. Yeah, yeah. That's my like, guess. And our, you know, house kids love their goldfish. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's my final guess. Is okay, smash goldfish, goldfish is my final guess. Don't don't make me drag you down, guys. Is that it? Solo, what do you think it is? I think it's a cheesy smashed cracker goldfish cheese crackers. Person, what's your guess? Uh. Yeah, definitely like either like smash like Cheez Its or Goldfish. You can take your blindfolds off and see what it actually is. That's like crackers? Ritz. Ritz crackers? That's Ritz, isn't it? <laughs> Dang it. I think I would learn more from tasting this. <laughs> I, knew, I was confident. I knew it was the goldfish. smell was hey, familiar, I knew it was like though. crackers or something. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting with What's solo. That? No. Wait, don't just give me my time. Let me, let me get this slowly. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Touch. Oh, it's wet. It's wet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Water. Water. <laughs> it's cold. Now I'm gonna get the smell. Mm, I can't smell anything. <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything. Um, well, I smell something. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's getting sticky now. Like, was it dry? Is this is this it could... hot sauce? No, 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 no. I tasted it. It tasted blind. All right. Final guess coming in five, four, three, uh, two. What's your final guess, Fern? Oil. I'm gonna go with oil. I have some sort of cooking oil. Ooh. Like, oh, coconut oil? I'm, Vegetable oil. Okay. I, I'm saying oil. Person, what's your final guess? Oil. Okay. Vegetable soup. All right, you can remove the blindfolds and then you can maybe better describe what you feel like it is. What? Soap? Is it, is it water with Egg whites. Egg oh. <laughs> <laughs> I touched my face with egg whites! He's <laughs> touching my face. Person's hand. going in. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Don't scream. Don't do that. Please don't. Yeah, okay, just give me my time. Give me my time. Here's your, your right over it. Oh, 
just go down when I'm ready. Okay. You touched it already? Burn oh. shaking. <laughs> you touched it already, did you? Yes, oh. she put my oh. hand on it. Oh, oh. You, wait, it's on a... I can't put my hand on it. That's you guys, a napkin. What's a who? It's, 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 it's on a napkin. It's on a napkin. Okay. Ah! It's not moving. I felt something. It's chunky. It's oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, I felt it. It oh. is soil. It's yeah. ew. Wait. Ew. It's, <laughs> it splits mm, apart weird. Yeah. It's like putty. What? Oh, ew. What if it is oh like it smells one? bad. No, it's not alive. Guys, I can smell this. <laughs> okay, it smells like garden. <laughs> It smells so bad. What is that? My, Why would you I have a strong, it? how do you know? <laughs> okay, but it's not like I'm like pushing my, my nose near it. My smelling is strong. This okay. smells horrible. Okay. So there's dirt for sure. All right, we have any guesses on what it's <laughs> not a clue. I'm like thinking like mucus, like mucus. I'm sitting here playing uh, with burgers. It's like putty mixed with with fertilizer. Ugh. I want to say like a worm Man or something. A manure. Worm. I'm going manure. with yeah. manure. Like I'm just <laughs> sitting here playing in manure. It's not manure. <laughs> All right, what's our final guess? You want to take one last whiff? Um, it smells so bad. You might can oh. taste it. <laughs> 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 I don't know what it smells like. Um, um. <laughs> oh my gosh. Manure. I'm going really bad, manure. dirty soil. Something from a garbage. All right, we got a worm from person. Final guess, Sola. Garbage, dirty soil cooking thing. Garbage dirt. <laughs> Burn. Manure. He's gone with poop. Poop. <laughs> you can remove your blind. I don't even want to touch I don't want to touch I'll remove your blind. They are what worms. Oh, <laughs> Scream if it's something scary, because I might not. All right, Solo, your turn. Me, me. Oh, you didn't say anything. Oh, cool. Like I scared you. What is that? Oh, it's what? Like, mm -mm. What is? It's, oh, it's a chick. <laughs> I can't touch it anymore. <laughs> I'm scared. Did you say it's a chick? It's furry. <laughs> it's super little. Furry? Don't go back. I swear, if this is a tarantula. <laughs> it's not. I for I definitely not. felt some fur. Like oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's a. Oh, where's it going? <laughs> Hold on. Wait. I'm not done yet. <laughs> Are you like. We touched it for a second. Are yeah. you petting it? I tried. All right, one more time. Okay. This is so. Can we like fill its beak? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a chick. Oh. Oh. oh I, I feel like it's like. Really a, like oh! Whoa, what happened? Something yeah, moved, but I think did that was. Did it move or did it? I, I, I don't know. I get scared. Let's do that one more time. Oh. Can I hold it? It has a like a a fur and then a sturdy thing on it, so it's it's a, a it's a chick. I don't it's think they ha I don't think they have a chicken here. They wouldn't. I don't. No. That's inhumane. It's warm, so it has to be alive. <laughs> That's my hand. No. <laughs> it's like warm. All right, final guess is what um, is Oh. I almost want to just say like a little hamster or something. Yes. Ooh, a stuffed That's a good pet. guess. Um, but it's like this backbone was like sturdy. It but was like I've had hamsters and they bite, so I don't think that's a hamster. <laughs> a rat, a mice. Ooh, a mouse. You a can mouse. get a mouse, mice, okay. mouse from well, from. Are mouse really that soft though? Yeah. It, we don't I would know. Say they are. Oh. Mouse, All right. Final guesses. Go with the mouse. Um, <laughs> well behaved hamster. That's my guess. Doesn't um, bite. What you got, Kirsten? I got nothing. I'm gonna say hamster. <laughs> hamster. <laughs> it's a cat toy. <laughs> a mouse as cat a toy. mouse. <laughs> a mouse go. cat. Remove the blindfold. It is a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy! Did y'all get a good laugh out of Teacher Solo's reaction to that last round? <laughs> I know I did. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Let's get back to the lesson. Great job, my production assistant friends. I am really gonna miss calling them that. Well, it's not something to be sad about. It's actually a good thing that they won't have to be production assistants. Wait, it is? Yeah, it is, but... I don't have the time to get into that because we need to get our intro going right now and we have some stuff we have to do after commercial break. So let's get it right. going. Right, going live in segment in three, two, one. Good morning, you're watching Good News with your anchors Tim Hunter and Trudy Grapevine and Rick Rexworth on sports. Will Wheelwright, traffic. 
Dr. Oppenheimerstein on science. Cooking in the Kitchen with Dinah. Your Action News reporter, J.J. Barnstormer. And Fernando the Weather Puppet on weather. It's the best morning news show on this channel at this time in the Tri-Cities area. Today's show is brought to you by Evangelism, because it is our job to tell others about Jesus. Intro is finished and the commercials are rolling. Today's sponsor is Evangelism. What does that mean? Well, evangelism is actually talking to people about Jesus. You know, it's a good thing as followers of Jesus, we get the opportunity to go and tell others about him. You know, actually it's one of the most important jobs we get to do is tell others about Jesus and the good thing he is. So, you know what, let's make it our main point today. And I, I have it written down here, it's gonna say, I will tell everyone about Jesus. And you know what goes good with that? Some motion. And some shouting. Let's All right, it. ready? So, I, I will tell, tell everyone, everyone about, about Jesus. Jesus. Should we do it one more time? Let's do it. I, I will tell, tell everyone, everyone about, about Jesus. Jesus. Wow. Well, I know one thing is that they learned is how to yell. That was crazy loud. Yes, it was. But before we go on, my friends, I want to touch up a little more on the main point and that idea of evangelism. Telling others about Jesus is important because we don't want them to miss out on the great things God has planned for them. So let me give you guys an example here. Imagine you go see a really cool movie. That's like the best thing you've ever seen. You don't want to just keep it to yourself. You want everyone else to know it and experience the cool stuff, right? Right. Yes. And it's the same with Jesus. You go around you telling everyone about Jesus and then they can start following him and living the way God wants you to live, right? Yes, it is it's the same thing. And the cool thing is that, you know, somewhere along the line, someone, a friend, a parent, or even like a relative has probably told you about Jesus or had you come here or to a church to learn more about him. You know, to be honest, I'm really happy that I was told about Jesus and told to learn about him because it's a good thing for me to know him. And it's a great thing I get to know him. And just like, I wouldn't know where I would be today if I didn't, didn't choose to learn about him or choose to follow him. It's a good thing and it's good for everyone to know that because they need to know the great things he has for them. Wow, and speaking about Jesus and all this talk, we have time for news and it's about time to go in. I think it is. All right, my friends, we're gonna count us down to get this going, ready? Five, four, three. Good morning, I'm Tim Hunter, your lead anchor. And I'm Trudy Grapevine. Here are today's top stories. It's a lot of good news today. First off, there's an ice cream truck giving away all of its ice cream for free. Mmm, sounds mm. delicious. Yes. But if I don't tell you where it is, then all the ice cream will go to me. Sounds yummy. <laughs> and in movie news, the latest Treasure Hunter movie will be opening this week. Now, this promises to be the best in the Treasure Hunter movie series. In fact, early reviews are saying that everyone will want to see this movie. However, due to contractual agreements, this new Treasure Hunter movie will only be showing in one theater. Now, I should tell you which theater it's going to be, but I don't want it to get too crowded, so I'm not going to tell you. What? But, but, but we want to see the movie. I mean, it's a really good movie. Well, we, wait, so they're not going to report on any of the good news today? That's crazy. I know, they're keeping all the good news to themselves. we got to get this under control. Tim, cut to Rex's segment. We need to actually hear some actual news today. Oh, right. <clears throat> and now here's Rick Rexworth, the hardest working sportscaster in news. Rick, what's going on? Hi, guys. I'm not going to report the sports scores anymore. It was a lot of work. I just want to watch sports now. So this is Rick Rexworth, who has gone from the hardest working sportscaster to the hardest watcher in the sports watching business. Brought down at the 50. Great plan, Rick. And now, here's Dr. Oppenheimerstein for the latest in the field of science. <laughs> I've made a brilliant discovery! <laughs> That's great. Uh, what is it? Well, it's so incredibly, amazingly, stupendously brilliant! <laughs> well, what is it? Go on. Well, it would take a really long time to explain, so I think I'll just keep it to myself. But if I were to share it, it would 
change the world! <laughs> uh, but, but, but I would really like to know. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, well, up next we have Will Will right on traffic. Will, what's going on out there? There's traffic jams all over the city. Only one road is still open. <laughs> and I'm keeping that to myself. But I, I, I need to know that so I can get home tonight. Ugh. Okay, well, here's cooking in the kitchen with Dinah. All of my recipes are now secret. Oh, Mom. Good call. Her food's not that great anyway. <laughs> Up next, we have Action News reporter JJ Barnstormer. What's going on, JJ? Maybe I'll be back later. What are they doing? They haven't reported anything. I don't believe this. It's not going the way it is. Oh, you know what? Tim, Trudy, let's just go to commercial. Please, just, just go to commercial. Oh, oh, oh what? Hello. we need to take a quick commercial break. But when we get back, we're going to meet Carter Stry, a man who is about to hiccup one million times without stopping. How about that? What's going on today? The message from our sponsor reminded us to tell everyone about Jesus. It did, so let's change it. This is the good news. We need to be reporting the right stuff. You know what, I got something great right here. Instead of the guys doing the hiccups, okay, we're gonna move on to a great Bible story. It's gonna help remind our newscasters that this is their job and what they need to do, and it's gonna help our viewers at home learn more about Jesus. Great, sounds good, let's do it. Yeah, it's already done. Great, because the commercials are almost ending and we're going back into our live segment. So everyone, let's count down for our final time. Five, four, three, two. Welcome back everyone. However, due to a change in today's schedule, we won't have time to see Carter Stry reach one million hiccups. <laughs> Oh, too bad. Now for a special report from the Bible. Here it is. Sharing good news. There's nothing more fun than telling other people news that you think is good. Like, I got an A on my test. Or, my cousins are visiting me this summer from out of state. Or, we're going on a vacation to California over Christmas. These things are fun to share because they're things that are happening to you. But the best kind of news is news that doesn't affect just you, but also those around you. News like, I want two $50 gift cards for the mall, one for you and one for me. Or, my grandma wants to take you and me to the amusement park tomorrow. Or, my mom said that you and our three best friends can spend the night at my house this weekend. Good news is exciting when it involves just you but it's really exciting when it involves others as well. Hello, and welcome to my ongoing report focusing on the weeks after the death of Jesus. In this segment, we're gonna find out what happened to Jesus and his disciples when Jesus left this earth. And along the way, we'll also learn that we play a part in this story as well. In the book of Matthew, chapter 28, starting in verse 16, we find that a lot had happened to the disciples. They had been traveling with Jesus and learning from him for years. But then, one day, Jesus was arrested. He was put on trial, sentenced to death, and then buried in a tomb. The good news, however, is that three days later, Jesus rose again, and he showed himself to the disciples to prove he had come back to life, just as he said he would. As we begin this story, the disciples were instructed by Jesus to go to a mountain in Galilee where he would meet them. When they arrived, and true to his word, Jesus met them there. Here the disciples worshiped Jesus and when they were done, he told them something very important to do. He said, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. 
And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Jesus was giving the disciples a mission. It was now going to be their job to tell the story of Jesus and how he had come to save the world from sin. This mission was designed to spread this good news all over the world. You see, other people needed to know that Jesus died to take the punishment for their sins and that he rose again. People also needed to know that because of Jesus' sacrifice, everyone could be forgiven. Well, when Jesus was done speaking, he did something miraculous. In the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 9, the Bible tells us that when Jesus was finished speaking, he rose up into the clouds until the disciples could no longer see him. This is what is referred to as the ascension of Jesus. Jesus had completed his task here on earth, and then he went to heaven where he sits right now next to God, his Father. And that's the best news of all. Jesus is alive and he's preparing a place in heaven for those who follow him. But the mission that Jesus gave to his disciples wasn't just a mission for them. It's a mission for us, too. The story of Jesus is good news. In fact, it's the best news ever, and we need to share it with everyone. And that's the mission Jesus gave to all of us. So invite people to church where they can learn about God's love. Tell people at school who Jesus is. And always, always be ready to answer questions if people ask you about Jesus. The bottom line is that you shouldn't keep good news that involves others to yourself, especially if it's the absolutely best good news in the world, the good news of Jesus. We have not done a very good job on the air today. Good news is supposed to be shared and we've been keeping it all to ourselves. You're right, but we've still got time to fix it. The ice cream truck I mentioned earlier is located on the corner of Kenny Ken Drive and Main Street. The latest Treasure Hunter movie is premiering at the movie theater downtown. Rick Rexworth here and I'm back reporting on sports. Stay tuned and I'll give you all the updates. Dr. Petrie Oppenheimer sign here, and my brilliant discovery is this. A machine that turns yucky things like worms and bugs and broccoli and turns it into... Candy! Yay! Yummy, delicious, wonderful candy! <laughs> candy for all my friends! <laughs> there are still traffic jams all over the city. But I do know a way through. Take Main Street, stop at the truck for the free ice cream, then keep heading north and you'll get through just in time for the movie. My recipes are no longer a secret. And guess what? I have cookbooks for everyone in our studio audience. You get a cookbook and you get a cookbook, everyone gets a cookbook. Look under your seats. J.J. Barnstormer is back on the scene with the latest action. There's some really cool stuff happening downtown. More details in a few minutes. Back to you. Thanks, everyone. That's a lot of good news. And remember, the best news of all is what Jesus did for all of us on the cross. And it's all of our jobs, even yours, to tell others about him. Before we go, let's take a look at weather with our weather puppet, Fernando. Fernando? There's been some thunderstorms lately, but they've all blown over. No lightning around here. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Great job as always, Fernando. <laughs> Thanks again for tuning in to Good News. And please stay tuned after the credits for some late-breaking news. I'm Tim Hunter. And I'm Trudy Grapevine. Have a great rest of your day. How about that? Oh, <laughs> look what you did. Show your life. And we're done. Whew. They did it. Yes, they did. You know, that actually kind of started out with one of the worst news broadcasts we've had so far. But honestly, it came back around. I think it turned out to be one of the best, right? Indeed. But how about we go check our last late breaking news story? Okay. Let's do it. 
What's this? Respected reporter and news anchor Tim Hunter's on the scene with some late-breaking news. We need a news van, quick! It's time for Tim Hunter's news van race to report the news! Cheer for the news van that you think will get to me first. Will it be red or yellow? Ready, set, go! Here they come around the bend, folks. This is gonna be one crazy race. It looks like yellow's got a baseball on the way. I'll have to jump it. Oh, she is. Red comes through a crazy barricade full of yellow balls. He's gonna have to crash through it. He crashes through it. Oh no, they're here at the tower. We're gonna have to round this tower together. Oh, and they come in. Oh no, there's an angry herd of dinosaurs. Hey, buddy, this is all wrong. Stay off here, see? And they go the other way. They're gonna have to come this way. It's a flying dolphin. He takes both of them. Oh, over the animals. It's gonna be so close. This race is quackers, folks. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be yellow. It's gonna be red. It's gonna be yellow. It's gonna be red. It's gonna be the green dinosaur. It's gonna be the duck. It's gonna be yellow. Yellow wins. It looks like it's time to report the news. <coughs> this just in. I'm outstanding. Get it? Because I'm outstanding. Right here. Standing out here reporting the news. Thanks for watching Tim Hunter's News Van Race of Newsiness. I'm Tim Hunter. Wait a second, that wasn't a real city, and those weren't real vans. Tim was just playing on a carpet with toy vans. I am so glad that you finally noticed that. Oh, finally. So it's just been Tim this whole time? Yes, it's been Tim this whole time, but besides that, I wanna go back to what we're learning about today. I actually have a really good Bible verse that's gonna help us. I have it written down, it's gonna say, but the believers who were scattered preached the good news about Jesus wherever they went. Acts 8, 4. That's super good. Nice, that was good. Yes, and you know the good thing about that is that the disciples kept going around and they were teaching people about Jesus and then the people that they taught went and taught more and more. And you know what that did? That spread it out to today. All throughout time, people kept learning and spreading the good news and doing stuff for evangelism and keep learning and teaching about Jesus. And that came back to us and we have the opportunity to learn about him and know him personally. That's great. So that is a great thing, yes. Well, friends, this was our last week for this series, and we are excited to start our new series next week. Yes, we are. Right? So please, yes. So please tune in and be ready for some more fun things. See you next week. See you guys next week. Well, that's all we have for you this week. We hope you enjoyed the lesson. But before you go, we have a challenge for you. I want you to pray for one person in your family this week. One, let's make it two. You're right, let's make it to you. You can pray for your mom or your dad or even your dog. But we love you guys and always remember that the leaders here are praying for you and love y'all so much. And remember, the, the best, best is yet, yet to come. come. We love you guys, see ya. Bye.